YouTube, it's Jeremiah Jacinto here, back here with another video for you guys. Thank you for all the support. I just hit uh, 35 subscribers. I don't know if I hit 40 now. I will check on that. But if you guys think what's in my hand, I just it's this little pineapple ring that I made out of paper. I saw Jake Paul had a pineapple Gucci shoes, so I had to get a pineapple ring because I'm really broke. But when I get my money up, when I start vlogging, when you guys start liking my videos, my money will start growing, growing, and growing. I'm not doing this just for the money. I'm not doing this just for the fame. I'm doing this to entertain you guys so you guys can be the next Jake Paul, the next big YouTuber fan base. But at first, I have to start with me. Okay. So, um... Okay, yeah. I uh, sorry for that, but um, so today uh, it's gonna be like a regular video I usually do. I can't start vlogging because I really have nothing to do. I'm really not doing anything fun. I don't want you to vlog me just walking around my backyard. So I'm gonna walk into my room where I film all my vlogs, where I film ev like all my videos, um, and show you guys uh, what I learned from. Effluence uh, site that Jake Paul made for small YouTube fan base like me to grow. So let's get into that. So I am in the room right now here. Uh, so let me teach you guys what I learned from that website. That website is going to be in the link in bio if you guys want to like, see what they really taught. I don't know what I'm talking about, but the website Effluence is going to be in the bio. Okay. So. What I learned is, if you really want to be successful YouTuber, successful influencer, or a business guy, CEO, any of those things, famous, you gotta ask yourself these questions. Are you doing this for the money? Or are you doing this for the fame? What do you want to accomplish? Then you're going to feel like you're successful. What do you want to accomplish? So I asked myself these questions. Effluent uh, actually like, asked me like these questions. And I'm kind of asking you these questions. But what I learned too is that being a big YouTuber doesn't start with you having a $200,000 vlog camera. And you having a $50 phone camera. I know people who film with a, a flip phone. A LG flip phone. And got like millions, hundred millions to almost close to a billions of views. Doing a 30 second video that made their whole channel blow up. And now that they got the money... They're not going to stay with the LG flip phone. They're going to buy at least a $2,000 camera to continue their journey into vlogging. One thing, too, that like a lot of people get mixed up off if they say, Jake Paul, all these other people got famous because of money. I'm not saying a lot of them were just poverty. They'd go to rich. I know some of them started out because... They, like, had money to start with. And they have more money now to end with. So, one thing that I really want to say is, you could start out really rich, and you could, st and then you could stay on that level of richness, not moving one step, or not achieving your goal of having a Lambo, but having a Range Rover, and not achieving your goal to having a, uh, uh, let's say, a, your favorite pickup truck, and having this Toyota truck. I'm not saying Toyota trucks are not good. They're lit. They're lit. Jake Paul has a Toyota truck. It's lit. So, what I want to say is, first what you got to do is find what you're passionate about. Find what you want to do. If it's making funny videos, go make funny videos. If it's daily vlogging, go do daily vlogging. If it's sit-down videos, showing beauty, lifestyle, 
or not like vlogging or just sitting down like what I do. I just sit down, talk to you guys, and that could grow your channel. But one thing that grows your channel is I heard that if you make good videos, get at least every year, get at least like hundreds of millions of views in one year YouTube like will just send you a check that's saying thank you for all your hard work that money could be eight figures six figures it could even be ten figures I'm just gonna know it ain't gonna be ten figures it ain't gonna be one billion dollars it could be anywhere around those prices and look at this, like, look at that getting a 12-figure deal with YouTube. Like, I'm going to give you $10 million, not 12-figure, 8-figure, sorry. I'm going to give you $12 million every year. All you got to do is bring out all your energy that you want just to make YouTube videos, just to do what you love. I'll give you eight figure paycheck every year that would be great like getting at least six figures a month like think about that a hundred thousand a month you could buy two Lambos in two months including if you sell merchandise like Jake Paul I've never been to a place where I don't see people repping Jake Paul merch. Um, Jake Paul merch is expensive. I just seen this kid when I went to a trampoline park who was repping Jake Paul hoodie, Jake Paul shirt. What about this? How would that feel? Go think about that. I'll be back. I'm back, guys. I forgot where I started off, but I just want to end the video right here and say that you could be anybody. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what your race is. Doesn't matter how rich are you. How poor are you. It could be anything. All you have to do is do what you love. And you can make a profit from that. And it's not all about the money. If you're thinking all about the money at first, you're not going to succeed. Because you're going to have to waste thousands of dollars to be a millionaire. It sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Don't you think Jake Paul wasted zero dollars in his pocket and is this rich buying $7 million house, buying a 300000 400000 Lamborghini, buying... All these designer clothing and then away zero dollars in his pocket. Why did Jake Paul get so much views on his everyday bro? How much money did he rent those Lambos? How much money did he rent those houses? How much money of uh, everything that he had to do to make that video? It was worth it. It had o over a hundred million views. A hundred million views is like racks. Let me just say that. Racks. Huge piles of money. Good influence like Ty Lopez, Jake Paul, big YouTubers. You can learn way more from them. I'm just a little small YouTuber. Just telling you guys what I learned. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys learned something new, comment down, learn something. Comment down something positive. You guys didn't learn anything. You guys already knew these things. Comment down anything you want. Comment down what you really were trying to listen here. And I'll see if I could do something about that. If I can't, bad luck. And one thing else that you guys need to think about is. There's going to be. You're going to have hate. But you can't just keep being. This guy hates when I smile. I'm not going to smile anymore. Because this guy hates it. But what about the other people that like smiling? Do what you love, and if they like it, they like it. If they don't like it, 
Don't adjust to what they like. Make them adjust to what you like. Don't waste your time, your money, your life. Life is too short for you to be wasting your life in problems. Like, they don't like the way I smile. They don't like the way I say hi to them. They want me to say hi to them more calm. No. They don't like that. They want you to like what they like. But no. You don't vlog because they want to like it. You vlog because you want to like it. And you want them to start liking it. So you don't change anything, anything, anything for your fans to start liking what you do. You want your fans to like, for you to start liking what you, they're, <sighs> let me rephrase this. You want your fans to like what you do. You don't do what they want you to do. You make them adjust to it. You don't adjust to what they want. That's the end of this video, guys. Thank you if you guys watch to the end. Um, please subscribe, like, give a comment down if you guys learned something new. Please subscribe so I can grow a bigger channel. Please subscribe, guys. And please like this video and go watch my other videos. They're fire. See you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.